Hey Matadors, I'm Brittany Brown. And I'm Amy Palacios. And, and you're, you're watching, watching The Brief. Brief. This week on, on The Brief, you have Batman, Volleyball, and Boxing. Batman won two of their games last week against UCSD and UCI. Here's Natalia with more details. The badminton club faced a tough lineup last weekend when they went to UCLA for another round in the SCCBL. This time they were up against the University of California San Diego and the University of California Irvine. In men's single, Dennis played Tim from UCSD. Despite some good rallies between the two, Dennis lost the game in two sets 21-11 and 21-11. In men's double, CSUN's number one seeds, Chuan Gwen and Joseph Gwen, had a close first set but eventually lost in two sets, 21-16 and 21-11. Chuan Gwen and Amber Turner managed to take UCSD down a notch with their victory in mixed double. But unfortunately, San Diego was just too much for CSUN to handle, winning the overall matchup with 12 wins out of 14 possible. Next, against UCI, the Matadors again came close to upsetting the Irvine team. CSUN's first-ranked mixed double team, Amber and Chuan, went into three sets but ultimately lost out with a score of 19-21, 21-10, and 21-11. Overall, CSUN saw themselves defeated 14-0 by against UCI. Volleyball 3-1 of five games. Here's Brittany with the story. Hey Matadors, we're Brittany Brown, we're MSN reporters, and your Vice President for Club Volleyball. Last weekend, we played here at the SRC. There are 14 teams competing in this tournament called the Crossover. However, we played five of them. We played Point Loma, Azusa Pacific, UCR, San Marcos, and Cal State San Bernardino. We lost to UCR and Point Loma. Overall, my team had a very successful day. I couldn't be more proud. Boxing had the opportunity to showcase last weekend. Here's Lauren Bennett with more. So far, so good. Uh, we've actually implemented a very uh, strict uh, system uh, as compared to uh, previous semesters. Um, when I started, we actually had very few fighters. So it was easy to have a very strict system of one coach. There's about six fighters um, who trained six days a week and we only had the one coach, and it was easy for him to look after us. Uh, this time it's a little bit uh, more strict. We have Mark as the uh, club coach, and I'm coaching the, uh, the other fighters who are in the A team and the B team. We put them all together now in the A team, and uh, things are looking pretty good so far. So far, we're just a week and a half into the uh, system that I've been wanting to implement for a while now, and uh, well, actually, like a week and almost two weeks complete. So we're, uh, everyone's loving it, everyone appreciates the conditioning, and uh, yeah. A lot of them are tired right now, so I, <laughs> and when they're tired at this stage, I, I feel like I'm doing them a, a good a good service. If it grazes, that's actually perfect, right? Because that means you're just barely getting missed, and it's not, a, it's not like a counting blow. Size actually was quite about the same. Um, most of the guys that are on the, the A team and B team were pretty much the same that showed up last uh, last semester. We did have, I think, maybe about 160 uh, tryouts for last semester. Uh, most of them actually kind of died out because um, uh, one, it was only a few times a week. Uh, either that, or they didn't want to pay the dues, or they couldn't afford the dues, or their schedule, like their school schedule, conflicted with the uh, boxing schedule. So a lot of them showed up, and uh, you know they came when they could, and then some people just ended up dropping out. It happens, you know. We have a, we have a huge turnaround. Right? We have like a big draw, and then we get like maybe a 70% dropout rate, I would say. So about 30% stays. But uh, I would say we have a good. Uh, uh, 20 to 25 people who show up regularly um, from last semester. So they started last semester and then now they continue to this. Semester. Here's Alex Aguilera for your weekend's update. Hello everybody, I'm Alex Aguilera and here's what's coming up for this weekend. We have women's lacrosse playing on Saturday against Cal Poly Slow here at 1 o'clock and also on Sunday against UCLA at UCLA at 1 o'clock. Men's rugby is going to be playing here against Point Loma at 5 o'clock. And then we got women's volleyball. They're going to be going against Mount St. Mary's here at 7 o'clock. 
Badminton is going to be playing this weekend against UCLA, USC, and UC Riverside. Make sure you follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and of course right here on our YouTube page. I'm Alex Aguilera signing off for me and the rest of us here at MSN. We'll see you next week.